Hey y'all, I have decided to start a little project and just see how it turns out. And um, if you didn't see my other video, then I'll go ahead and tell you, these are scrap pieces of wood from the tongue and groove that we used on the ceiling of the new porch. So, um, of course, this side is the, the tongue and groove side, and then this side is just smooth. So, on some of my projects, I'll probably use the smooth side, but on this first one, I thought, well, I'm just going to use this side that has the groove and um this this part right here will get trimmed off this is the the part where you fit them together so that will be trimmed off so you just have to kind of ignore that now just keep in mind when i do a project i don't uh, like sit and i mean i usually have kind of an idea of what i'm going to do but what I'm saying is I don't spend a whole lot of time thinking about it and trying to get everything perfect. I usually just wing it um, and see how it turns out. More times than not, I'm usually pretty satisfied with what I get. Now, there have been times that, uh, you know, chuck it or whatever, you know, I'm not happy with it. And so this may end up being something that I'm not at all happy with, but we're going to see. Um, the only thing I have done, uh, which this was already done, if you'll notice, this side has the stain on it, which is the stain that's on the ceiling of our porch. So I'm going to leave it this color. Um, there'll be some projects that I do where I put paint on it. Um and then there'll be, like I said, times I use the smooth side. The only thing I've done to this is which the stain's already on it. And I have, with a pencil, I don't know if you can see it, I sort of did my, my words here. And all it says is be still. And then it will have down here somewhere in little bitty letters, I'll put that, that scripture and verse number down here. But um, it just said uh, it's just going to say be still. And then I'm going to I'm going to add just a few little things. It's just going to be kind of simple. Um, it took me several minutes just to find where I had put my paintbrushes because that's been how long it's that's how long it's been since this paint's kind of globbed up. I'm going to get that glob out of there. Yuck. Ah, it's goopy on the top. I can't get it to fall off. Um, I'll have to clean this bottle up. And I got some water here because I don't know how thin this paint is. Some of my paint is getting kind of thick because I haven't... I haven't done any painting in a while. I've got boxes of paint. This is just part of it. Um, I have more upstairs. So I'm trying to figure out which brush I want to use for these letters. Uh, maybe I'll start with this real thin one, but I'm going to put some water on my brush. Maybe it'll go a little smoother. So, like I said, oh, I've got my glasses on, but I can't see that pencil mark very good. One bad thing is my hands are, are always pretty shaky, which is not good when you're trying to do. But, I'm not, I'll go back and smooth edges or whatever. So portions of these letters, I'm just trying to get the outline right now. 
but portions of these letters well and see I looked at one similar to this and this is that's where I got the idea um I forgot what I was saying. Oh, anyway, I'm using my phone to record so I can't have the picture in front of me. I could. I've got my laptop over here. I could do that, but I didn't. So we'll just, um, like I said, it's, it's drawn on here or on here a little bit with pencil, so. And I'll, um, I'll speed parts of this up. I'll walk away and, um, and then, you know, come back and look at it different times and I'll add things or, uh, tweak things. Sometimes I just, um, I'll decide to add another, like a touch of another color or something. So I didn't, I have letter stencils. I have a few different fonts and not as many as I would like, but uh, sometimes I use stencils for my lettering. I did not on this one. So that'll probably be pretty obvious to you. So there's the B. And I just, I went by, I was looking at my phone and writing this on here. Um, so this style letter is from what I was looking at. But I'm certainly no professional. And I just, I hadn't done any of this in a long, long time. And I don't know, the last few weeks I've been thinking, I really kind of want to make something, you know, just kind of feeling like I was in the mood to do something like this again. So uh, this this is a pretty this is a pretty simple one, and um, I wish I had I don't even have the pictures anymore of all of the stuff that I have made, painted, um, just freehand Christmas things, and uh, just from looking at a picture, I'll look I'll used to always I would find a picture like a, a Christmas something Christmassy, and would just have my phone laying beside me with that picture up, and would just look at it and do my best to duplicate it. And most of the time, I was pretty pleased with it, and I, I sold a lot of of those things. Well, really, everything that I made, I sold. This piece of wood, as you can see, which is one thing I kind of like about this piece, is um, it's got the knot holes in some rough places, which I like. Just adds to the rustic feel. I can't see very good. My pencil mark, the light is glaring a little bit. I have my reading glasses on, but I'm blind as a bat. Um, of course, I wear contacts and or glasses and one or the other, but I still have to have reading glasses to see things up close. It's fun, fun. But I've been blonde since I was a little girl. <laughs> Not totally blonde. Just I've had to have, I had to have my first pair of glasses when I was like 11. And haven't been able to be without since. So I can't see my line. There it is. We'll get these letters. And like I said, I am. Um, we'll probably tweak them a little bit, you know, thicken some lines or, or whatever in different places, but we'll get the basic outline of it. And then I'm going to add a few little touches of probably just uh, kind of like, I don't know what you call it, leaves sort of, or plant something. I may have to look at a picture again to see what I, what I want to do. But I'll probably have a little something up here and a little something in this corner. And then, like I said, I'll put, probably put the uh, Bible verse little thing down here in the corner. I actually can't think off the top of my head what it is at this moment, but I'll let you know. So don't be, don't be judging me on my painting skills. I just do it for fun, not because I'm real good at it. It would help a lot if my hands didn't shake so much. Okay, let's see. I'm going to thicken this up a little bit.
Mm -hmm. On this one. Seems like it needs to be a little fatter. It's a little difficult there with the, the spots where the wood is really rough. Mm. I'm going to thicken this part of the bee a little bit, too. And this is what I do. I keep looking at it and I'll keep adding to certain parts. All right. So that's all I'm going to do for now. Oh, okay. Why not? And then I'll, I will stop this and I'll come back. Sorry, I know I'm keep pausing and not talking. Anyway, I'm going to finish these letters for now. And I can tweak them some more later if I need to. And so I'll stop the video and come back to add some of the little plant touches. Okay. So I am back. It's only been a few minutes. I did decide, oh, sorry, I think I hit the camera. I did decide to use a stencil. This stencil has been used so much for so many different things. So that's why it looks like it does. And I'm going to use it for... My, and I think I'm going to use probably a couple of different colors. I have to figure out exactly how I want it on here. Let me move this. There's so much stuff up here. So, like I said, I'm just winging it, and it will either turn out good or it won't. I'm trying to find my little, oh, what's happened to it? I have a little stencil brush. I have these sponges, but I kind of wanted the brush. Oh. Anyway. I think I'm actually going to do these. I'm going to do this in black. And then I will probably come back and add a little, maybe a little bit of white to it. I don't know yet. We'll see. You guys will. See it as I do. Just do it and see what happens. I'm not, uh, there'll be some areas that are like, probably have more paint on them. I'm not looking to really get, you know, full coverage. On this stencil part I want just kind of a I don't want it to be dark dark uh, some areas will be darker than others but really it's just kind of a I don't know if subliminal is the right word 
anyway, I don't want full coverage on this part. I just kind of a lot covering or a lot uh I can't think of the words. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. But some parts will have will be darker than some depending on how much paint I've got on my and that's the thing is you don't you don't want necessarily everything so uniform, you know. Your letters you kinda do unless you're doing them freehand like me and then they're they're certainly not. My letters are, are never great unless I'm using a a stencil for my letters because I I'm not real good at the lettering part. Good thing I'm not looking for an award. <laughs> Just having fun. And you guys will see as I do whether it is a total flop or or if it's kind of okay. I know it's not going to be great, but it might be kind of okay. Okay. Let's... Take a gander. So see, it's not like... Like these are a little darker, but then these are a little, this is a little more muted, which is what I want. I think I'm going to turn it. Let's see. I guess it doesn't really matter. Mm. Let me see. Then move this up in here a little bit, maybe. Where's my S? Okay. And I don't want to get up there on the B. Oh. Let's see. I'm going to kind of stay on. I'm kind of talking to myself. I do that. I really get that when it's on that group. That'll be fine. I don't want to get up on the B. I'm going to do this right here. Try not get a ton of paint on my sponge because I don't want to have it real dark. So as you can see, I haven't sped this up any, but we're just doing real time on this. And things like this really don't take a whole lot of time. I don't, I don't know how many minutes I'm in so far, but I know it can't be too many. I spent more time trying to get my letters right, which they're still not too great, but 
want to see that B. So I'm going to do to that. Okay. So there's that. And I think I'm going to add some because it needs to be brightened up a little bit. So I think I'm going to add probably a little white, maybe. Uh, maybe some pale green. I'm not. I'm not sure about the green yet. Um, but definitely need some white or something a little bit lighter. So let's see. Um, I have to figure. I don't think I'm going to use that. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> I'm talking to myself again. Uh, this isn't really the paint. But it'll be fine. I think this is actually fabric paint. That's all right. I don't have any other white right now. Um, so I'm just going to like in the midst of this, like right here, I'm going to add a little. Uh, white thing right there. Let me find a different sponge. These things have just about had it. They're fine for this though, because I'm not. Don't need anything? Too great for what I'm doing here. There's a little bit of white there, and Uh, I want to use that same, the same one, get over here. I don't know. I don't know if I like this yet. Come on. I want this thing. This sponge has had it. There's a little bit of white there. And I'm going to add some up here. I'm going to turn it total opposite to what that one is. Oh, there's the black paint. I dropped my paper towel in the floor. Oh, well. I'll just leave it on my thumb for now. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to do a big white area right here. Oh, but I need more white paint. This is amateur hour, you guys. 
You don't have to be. You don't have to be a professional. I've made that very clear. <laughs> uh, just have fun with it. I just like, because like I said, you don't ever really know unless you're just like really planning it out and draw it all out. And, and I've done things like that too. The real, um, some real detailed paintings and pictures I did. I kind of, I had to do that. Uh, but really the majority of the stuff I do is just like this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I look at something and then I just start playing and I'll just keep adding to or, you can't really take away, you know, once you do something. And sometimes you'll mess something up. But the thing is, is if, if you can find, if you enjoy doing stuff like this, or if you want to start trying to do stuff like this, just find you some scrap pieces of wood. I cannot tell you, when I first started doing this stuff, I was using little pieces of, little end pieces of um, two by fours and little end, cut, end cuts off of two by sixes. And I made all kinds of little things on those and people loved them and bought them. And um, just little simple stuff. But it's not like you don't have to have a real talent to do stuff like this. And it's fun and kind of rewarding in, in certain ways you know, trying something and it actually turns out, you know, decent. <laughs> okay. So there's that. I think that's all I'm going to do with that stencil. Oh, there it went in the floor. Eh. I don't know. I'm thinking is the reason I'm I'm thinking although this is okay I'm thinking it would have looked better to d probably do it on the other side or on this side either one but do um, kind of a whitewash on this on the board and made it sort of white and then done the the black um the black with and then maybe like black and uh, gray or something for this for it to show up but anyway i don't know it's horrible some of my letters need touched up a little bit where they're around the edges to smooth the edges out and i guess but i don't think that would look good i was gonna say i guess i could no, it wouldn't look good. You could outline the letters in white, but I don't think I don't think that would look very good. It might. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. So that's it for now, and I'm going to look at it for a few minutes, and if I do something else to it, I'll show you. Get up here where I can turn the camera off. No. Like I said, oh, I do have to add the, the little verse thing down here. I don't have to, but uh, I might. I don't know, but that's how it looks. I have, I don't know if they're any good anymore. I have these paint pens. I don't know if they're, they may be dried up. If I, if it'll work, I think maybe it, it, it maybe it is working. Oh, would be easier to use it. Yeah. 46. And. Oh, that. Or a whole bunch of paint came out. Hmm. Huh. Um. 
Mm -hmm. Um, 4016. I know it doesn't look great. The It's real rough right there. <laughs> It'll be okay. We're not professionals around here. Just making it a little bit thicker. My L is really wonky. It's all right. Uh, the paint pens work good for certain things. If you're doing real, you know, real fine lines, they work good for that. I got to clean up my paint bottle. So, oh, you know what that paint pen would be good for? I might can. I'm sorry. I keep hitting the. Make my some of my lines. I don't want to touch that that I just did. I almost stuck my hand right on it. And I'm not super duper <laughs> worried about the edges, but there's a few of these where it's real rough, and I couldn't get a a real straight edge these help with that you can get you a little bit sharper edge um, and this down here where it, these really rough parts of the wood i'm sure i could sharpen up a little i'm just When I start talking quiet like this, don't worry that you can't understand me or whatever because that's when I'm talking to myself, really. <laughs> You're not missing anything. Because I do that sometimes. Talk to myself, tell myself what to do. That's not too bad. Uh, let me sharpen up this. Yeah, these work good for that. This S, I've got to sharpen up a little. Or I say sharpen. I'm just trying to make the edge of some of these places not so rough looking. And I'm about finished. I think I've done all I'm going to do to this. And... It's not a masterpiece, but it didn't take me all day to do it. Really only took a few minutes. And anybody can do this. If I can, anybody can. So here is my finished product. Be still. Psalm 4610. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video. God bless and be still and know that he is God. <laughs>